And then you want to kick out after what the Riffin is doing. I can't believe it. The referee just give a spine buster to the referee. Then he went full burst. Mr. Podcast on the third rope. He, he, he hit the elbow. He hit the elbow. He hit the elbow. And then he went brings Mr. Podcast in the corner of the ring, making him hit the corner. Daniel Ward, Mr. Podcast, get back up on the history. Daniel Ward, trying to talk podcast. Slam reversed. Mr. Podcast, reject Ward in the ropes, using the referee we has a human shield. Mr. Podcast, taunting the crowd. Daniel Ward with another huge power slam. And Daniel Ward is going to take Mr. Podcast for a headlock. The referee, he's trying to tell him to not do it. The referee, I think he's corrupted. And Daniel Ward make the pin for the referee, doesn't pin him. Daniel Ward running in the ropes, close line, running close line. Choke slam. Mr. Podcast doesn't show it coming, the choke slam. Yes, Daniel Ward can win. Daniel Ward can win. And Daniel Ward win the match. Daniel Ward get the World Heavyweight Championship title shoot. His next opponent for the World Championship title and we know how badly Daniel Wolf wants that title. He is at one step to accomplish his dream. And Daniel Wolf, I don't know, that's Assad. Assad is attacking Daniel Wolf. And Daniel Wolf, he is still on the ring and oh, that's Kenny Time. No, don't win like that. Don't win like that, Kenny. No, don't win like that oh and Kenny time just take the advantage and gets the victory this is bullshit Welcome everyone to the pre-show of GCW Jackpot at Vegas. We are looking live on my pay-per-view right after for GCW Jackpot at Vegas. It's one-on-one -on -one action right now as Asad is going to take on Hypnosis. Big World Heavyweight Championship main event title match atmosphere as Daniel Wolf is going to take on Kenny Time and also did Daniel Wolf would be Quan heavyweight champion, but right here, we doesn't serve Snyder, we haven't seen him since he gets attacked by Kenny Time, he's not here tonight, that's right, I'm alone in the broadcast table, and we doesn't know why. The following contest is scheduled for one for introducing first making his way to the ring from India, Assad. And Assad, representing Mr. Podcast Authority, is making his way on the ring right here tonight in this pre-show edition. And now here comes Hypnosis making his way 
in the way we are sold out from Las Vegas, Nevada. Let's get this high pay per view pre show start. And his opponent from California, he's the Empire Legend, Hypnosis. Hypnosis. The online wrestling federation owner, one of the Empire Legend, is going to take Asad right now and the match begins and Asad told me that he have a new finisher maneuver and he can't wait to show to us right here tonight and I just can't wait to see it too and what a beautiful hellboard job by Hypnosis and Asad and Asad back up inside the ring and Hypnosis has a big running drop kick by Asad and Hypnosis and Hypnosis is trying to fight back Asad but taking him with a choke slam what a beautiful choke slam Asad taking Hypnosis legs Boston Cop submission leg right here and Hypnosis kick out that submission and Hypnosis running in the ropes and a big running close line by Hypnosis pin for a time one two and three no on your two counts and here we go, the match still continues right here at the ECW Jackpot at Vegas I paper you push so. Hypnosis in the third row, going to do something with the black sand and no, he missed it. Asa just taunting the crowd about that and a beautiful court will kick taking Hypnosis back, big DDT now. Hypnosis get back on his feet, big power slap maneuver by Hypnosis. Hypnosis now trying to take the control of this matchup, trying to dominate for ending Asad, but Asad back up, big choke slam by Asad for the second time, pinfall time, one, two, two and only a two count right now, and Hypnosis took Asad, pile driver reversed, and another reversal, and Hypnosis projecting Asad in the ropes, Asad running in the ropes, Hypnosis catch him, oh, he just used his body as a human weapon, Beautiful tactic by Hypnosis over outside and Hypnosis is going on the third rope. Elbow drop from the third rope. Big elbow drop from the third rope by Hypnosis over Asad. What a big maneuver that was. Asad just get back on the wing and Hypnosis try to fight him. Asad put him out in a beautiful leg drop by Asad right here. Asad, Hypnosis trying to get back on his feet, Asad trying to attempt a green mist, here we go, the green mist, and a big power by Asad and Hypnosis right now, and a big kick in the nuts, in the balls of Hypnosis, of Hypnosis, and Asad is back inside the ring, back taking Hypnosis, snap suplex, reverse Hypnosis, projects Asad in the ropes, Hypnosis, runs up the ropes, big running close line by Hypnosis and Asad, And another big running clothesline right there. And a double arm suplex. Here we go. He's going for the cover. No. It's a headlock submission right now. Asad is not gonna tap like that. He is not going to tap with a submission like that. I told you. And he gets out of the submission. Hypnosis takes him back on the floor of the wing. Elbow running in the ropes. And another elbow. Hypnosis on the third rope, double Alexander, he missed it. He missed the double Alexander. Asad took back Hypnosis, projects him in the ropes. Asad, he's waiting. Big power slam maneuver, pinfall time right now. No, not the pinfall time. And Asad, it's an anchor lock. Anchor lock, Hypnosis kick out the anchor lock. Hypnosis trying to get back on his feet after the anchor lock. Hypnosis is trying to dominate the match between him and Asad also. Hypnosis is to Asad on his feet right here. Big inverted. Oh, and he's suffering. He's suffering to his knee. His knee. He's suffering his knee after the anchor like he have to take from Asad right now. Pinfall time by Hypnosis over Asad. One, two, and Asad kick out at two. Asad get back on his feet. 
He's going on the third rope. Drop kick. No, he missed the drop kick. Hypnosis so has hard coming. Right he has a punching hypnosis. Power bond. One. Two. And Asa doesn't run, Hypnosis kick out at 2, Hypnosis, oh, and a big running drop kick by Asa once again, and a fire mist right now, that fire mist and a big DDT, Asa could go for the cover and try to win the match, but now Hypnosis kick out once again, and uh, Hypnosis when he ropes, big running close line, Hypnosis is going on the third rope, elbow drop from the third rope, pinfall time, 1, 2, no, on your 2, Adrian? What the hell is that? And now he just leave? What the hell is doing here? He have no business to be involved in a match like that between Assad and Hypnosis. Right now. Why did he was watching this matchup like that? Why did he appear? God. And the match still continues by the way. And a big bad body drop by Hypnosis over Assad. Right now, Hypnosis is trying to dominate and to put down Assad. Now he is dominating him. Pinfall time. One, two, and three. No, only a two count. Hypnosis trying to still trying to continue working on Assad after what's happened. He seems like a little bit right here. Yes, a little bit out of this of his match, out of focus of this matchup. And Hypnosis spinning Assad and Hypnosis trying to get Assad. And now another choke slam by Assad was going to pin Hypnosis right here. One. Two, no, only a one count after a big choke slam right now. Asad is running in the ropes and a big running drop kick and Asad is going to pin hypnosis right here. One, two, and a three, no, only a two count. The match still go on and Carolagian appears and I just doesn't know the reason of why did Carolagian appears like that and watch the match like that and as at pins hypnosis and it's only a two count once again hypnosis kick out at two as on the ropes rookie mistake don't never turn your back on your opponents running elbow splash pinfall by hypnosis he could get the victory no one yet to count don't never turn your back down to your opponent this is the first lesson every rookie learned when you start to get trained for pro wrestling Hypnosis projecting Assad right here back body drop no big DDT by Assad on Hypnosis Assad is going to go for the cover no Hypnosis get back on his feet Assad has to give more and more to Hypnosis Hypnosis is an incredible fighter and big shuffle kick right now and Hypnosis he is back on his feet after that shuffle kick oh that elbow Assad never saw it coming and a big flying head scissor and Hypnosis takes Assad back a big power slam maneuver right here and another big elbow and Assad goes down while he trying to fight back Hypnosis but Hypnosis takes him beautiful maneuver pinfall time one two and no only a two count we thought that was a three count but Assad get the shoulder up at the good time oh and what a big kick by Assad over Hypnosis right here that was a huge kick and Assad tried to beat Hypnosis he tried to finish him and another choke slam for the fourth time taking him up green mist fire mist right here right after the green mist and Assad missed it, stalling brain buster, pinfall time right now, Assad, come on, Assad need to go and make the pinfall and get the victory, oh, he just kick hypnosis in the ribs, what a rookie egocentric mistake right here, because hypnosis get back in his feet, and a big running drop kick by Assad over hypnosis right now, and he is kicking, well, it's the truly definition of kicking the ass of someone right here, 
and I said to keep noise these big chokes down for the fifth time. Running drop kick into the corner of the ring, he is really dominating hypnosis and oh, Asad is the master of the chokes now right now. Same thing then, John Cena in his attitude adjustment, you know. Hashtag lol. And Asad takes hypnosis by the head, bring him in the middle of the ring, he's going to do something. Oh, what the fuck is that cutter? Really? He calls that the AKO, that's his new finishing maneuver, and he's going to get the victory like that from out of nowhere. AKO from out of nowhere. Well, Ashish Kermakia is gonna be mad watching this man. And yes, he's still injured by the way. And Asad won the match, what a beautiful victory for Asad right here. Beautiful victory for Asad who's just leaving the arena right now. But ladies and gentlemen, we are going to the back for a special interview made by Sam Dog Trim right now. Beautiful matchup right here. Jimmy Johnson tonight you facing me in a pitch in a one and one match and after what you did doing things are you confident for winning right now? Because what? I don't care at all at what I did to end it because he deserves that beating just like Mimza Kupic. Mimza Kupic should never have come back to pro wrestling and never have come back to GCW. I will send him right back where he belongs to be on the injury list and I will beat him tonight. You feel me? Celebrating his victory. Yes. Oh, what the hell, Jimmy Johnson with a baseball bat? What the hell? Man, this is really hard. This I'm shocked. I'm in shock. I am truly in shock. Johnson looks like he's working on, he's going away, he's going away. What the hell? Who the hell is that guy coming from out of nowhere? That's Misa Kupic. Misa is back. Oh my god, he's back from his injury. I and the career of Misa Kupic. Oh, that's Misa Kupic from behind attacking Jimmy Johnson. He's a cool bitch, he's just attacking Jimmy Johnson from behind. And we are back live in GCW Collision. And that's Jimmy Johnson. He's attacking me as a cool bitch. He just backstabbing. Once I have finished with the end of the biggest tournament business, I am going to do what should have been done from a long time ago. And ladies and gentlemen, what a huge eye pay per view we are going to get later tonight. First of all, we will get a global championship title match between the Australian Dynamo and the Uber One. The Uber One who earned his opportunity earlier this week at GCW Collision Episode 10, right before Jackpot at Vegas. And 
Dupe was in finally get his chance at the global championship. He have eliminated four other men to get his opportunity for the global championship. But this is not all. We will get a tremendous show tonight for GCW Japan at Vegas. But Snyder is nowhere to be found after the attack. He suffered from Kenny time. He is not here tonight. And what the hell is that? That's Mr. Podcast Music. What the hell he's doing here right now? This freaking fucking son of a bitch just interrupts me when I am talking right here and I even ain't have introduced him. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the owner of GCW, Mr. Podcast. Fucking owner. Yes, that's right. Continue with your broadcast problems, dude. Prediction team, bullshit prediction team right here. No. No and no. <clears throat> oh god. God, save your enjoyment of seeing me live in person right now. If I came here, it's because I have an announcement to make right here. So, first of all, hey, stop bullying me. I did everything was right for this company, and you are bullying me like that. This is bullshit. I know you do all want to see me leave, but I ain't leaving anywhere. All right? I ain't gonna leave. Him. I won't leave, and that's not now. Then I will fucking leave. Because I didn't follow what you want to get. Because every time I give you something, you're still complaining after. All of you fans are bull crap. Yes, full of crap. Now, let me make my announcement. Daniel Wolf is going to be in the main event of Jackpot at Vegas. Yeah, cheer for him, cheer for him cheer for him but Daniel Wolf if you want to be in the main event of this high pay-per-view then you deserve you will have to beat another opponent in the opening match right here tonight and I will choose that man and I will make him compete against you if he wants it or not because I am the leader I want him not the fans not Daniel Wolf, me. And if you survive that, well, I will put the bounty on you. Because in the back I have a briefcase full of $100,000. And the man who is able to take you out will get the money. And there is a whole entire locker room ready for the money. So, you won't make it to the main event. You won't win that matchup and you won't survive the bounty that I put against you because I don't want to see you world heavyweight champion it's not good for the business and it's not good for my money it's not good for nobody only for these crappy fans always complaining about something so Daniel Wolf if you go to the main event and survive all of this I will have one choice and it's to change the stipulation of the match. It's not gonna be a traditional match, it's going to be hardcore match, like in the good old times. Have a nice night, gentlemen. Oh boy, Daniel Wolf is in a lot of trouble and problems right now. He's just going to encourage his tag team partner from La Secta. He's just going to support him now. It's one on one now. It's one on one. And where this age is talking with Nathan Payne, I think he tells him to go. And what the hell? Where this age? Where this age? He hits Nathan Payne with a sledgehammer. 
He just betrayed Sector. Who did this is betray Sector? Man. No way is going to have a lot of problems right there with La Secta. Where the Sage betray Secta? Not and pain is done. Two months ascend. Take, he needs to take the opportunity right now. He's going to make the pinfall. No, he didn't do it. He's just kicking not and pain. Two months ascend. See the opportunity coming. Choke slam. Choke slam. He make the choke slam. To not and pain. And another side slam. And now he's making the pinfall time. One, two, and three. Shumanta Sen get the victory. Long for me, I feel reminded what I had to do when I betray Sekta. I am afraid of taking each and every time the brain will beat and every love. I am not the beast of Sekta. I am not what the hell you wanna call that, but the bitch protector of Sekta. When I join Sita, it's because I found that they were supporting to me and my whole character campaign in Thursday night's freaking money. Now I just want to kick Matt and Payne's ass and I will kick him way before the CW job at a big ass because I will beat him at that freaking big Hey, what the hell are you doing here? Matt and Payne, Matt and Payne are talking way the sage. Wade is taking Nathan Payne outside of the ring, he doesn't back down for anything or anybody. And Wade is Sage, he's just pissed as Nathan Payne. Wade is Sage, he's sick of taking the blame for each and every match. Then La Secta lose right here, and he's pissed off, he decides to step up against Secta. He decides to step up against Secta. That's right, this is why Wade turned his back up. But no, this is just a fight between two men. This is just a fight between two men. And Nathan Payne, he goes back down. He goes back after Wade the Sage, who was dropping a table. Wade was dropi dropping a table. And I think Wade's intentions was to be put Nathan Payne through that table. And what a neck breaker. You just saw the epic fail of the table, who broke herself alone? That's right, epic fail of the table! And Nathan Payne just put Way the Sage on the table right now, the, the broken table. Nathan Payne, he is going to do something really bad. He is going to do the elbow! From the third rope! No! Holy shit! What a knee drop from the third rope! Oh god! Nathan Payne is hurt! Nathan Payne is hurt! I'm happy for my wonder boy, for my wonder boy, and what the fuck is that? That scared me! He won 
Sanders about his debut since the very first beginning of GCW. Since GCW the emergence, he warned us about his debut. Since ICW, he warned us he just said one day I'm going to be there. And he's here right now. He's here. The prophecy begins now. Do you know what this means? Schneider. Oh. What this means? Well, this means the end of the freaking world. Right there. The, the prophecy begins. The prophet correlation is here. The face to face. Face to face. And then you can do it! Be the king of the teenage children of the universe! Teenage children of the universe! Ladies and gentlemen, we are back on GCW Collision in its global championship time. And oh, speaking of the prophet Carl Adrian, he's here. And where the hell did he come from? Leaping Plancha, the prophet Carl Adrian, interfering in the Wonder Boy business. He's just costing him his title match right there. This is bullcrap for the Wonder Boy. Carl Adrian interference inside this match is bullcrap right now. And you're saying Dynamo, he's spinning the Wonder Boy. And he gets the victory. We get a new GCW Global Champion. And we are back on the ring and that's the on GCW collision and that's the Wonder Boy. He's in the main event and This is G C fucking W. That's right. This is G C fucking W. And Shining Star, he is going to take the Wonder Boy. Right here. Projection in the whoops. What the fuck is that? That's Carl Adrian. He just drop kicked the Wonder Boy like that, and he is going to cost him the match. Ladies and gentlemen, main event. And the VK trying to fight back James Scott. But the VK is done right here. And James Scott is enjoying it a lot. As we see an explosion right now. And what the fuck is this? Black Rice? What the hell Black Rice is doing here, man? What the hell Black Rice is doing here? just was in Zion three weeks ago and our black boy stopped taking down men's club black boy stopped taking down men's club I mean, by driver and what the fuck once again black boy is behind the big gate this time black boy is behind the big gate black boy is behind the big gate and if you get to the same time stop by driver to fly at the big gate and black boy is giving a time stop by driver of landscape and the VK looks like Black West World World Heavyweight Championship and then Scott and the VK inverted Patrick dropping the pin for one two and three who the hell is that guy attacking the VK right now? I don't know I just want to see the face of that guy and who the hell is that guy attacking the VK looks like a VK knows him
back Cause the last time I was so in this room that he's not in the tournament he could be upset about that but also he gets some unfinished team story against Fahad FBK pop time out he might it's just trying to get back on his feet big push and next we from out of nowhere might it's just he's going to make the cover one two and three he got the big oh and that's Lance Scott from behind attacking FBK I think the knives have made myself really clean and now I am making it. I want you in the ring one on one with me. And I just put the three of me in a jackpot at Vegas you need to know the fear of God. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back live on the ring for this high pay-per-view pre-show of Jackpot at Vegas and now making his way on the ring it's Tornado David Claudio who is going to took on Stone Cold E.T. in a one on one match right here tonight on GCW Collision uh, sorry GCW Jackpot at Vegas high pay-per-view pre-show he is going to take on Stone Cold E.T. and Stone Cold E.T.'s music is he so Stone Cold E.T. is just looking to put an end to his losing streak he gets signed one year since GCW begin he is looking to put an end to his losing streak and if he will be able to do it tonight with beating David Claudio I don't know but right now here comes the YouTube sensation Stone Cold Heaty. The following contest is set for one fall and introducing Tornado David Claudia's opponent Stone Cold E.T. That's right Stone Cold Heaty's opponent and gentlemen John Campbell what did he do? He attacking Stone Cold Heat like that. He's not scheduling the show tonight. He have nothing to do here. And he's attacking Stone Cold Heat. Jumping people. This is what this guy does best. This is bullcrap right now. This is bullcrap right here. He only loves to jump people right now. And he might explode the B bottle and Stone Cold hit his face. Just like Fahad FBK did one year ago. Two years ago already. And boom! Big punch in Stone Cold hit his head. And the big back worker, he's going to finish him right there with the Canadian splash, I believe. Gentleman John Campbell want to make a point. Pile driver on Stone Cold Heat. He want to make a statement. I believe right now. And he's going to do it. Canadian splash right now. This is bullshit. This is really bullcrap right here. This is really bullcrap. Stone Cold Heat is not going to wrestle tonight after that attack. That's Blaze, Blaze with Orphan. Blaze is just attacking Orphan right now. Blaze is just attacking Orphan right now. He could be upset 
after Bloodweb have attacked his tagging partner Kickfrost. After Kickfrost was trying to resonate, Orphic could not be in attacking with him, and Blaze is just upset after having found him, after having found him attacked at GCW the recording. Blaze is upset at Orphic and Bloodweb, and he is attacking them like that. Bless is trying to get back up on his feet And Blaze get back on his feet Oh and Blood would launch him the baseball bat And a big DDT And the pinfall Blood were just cheat to get the victory right there. Blood were just cheat to get the victory. And Blaze is hurt. And Blood were cheat to get the victory. I'm in shock, man. I am truly in shock with what I just saw. Blood Red just gave us an impression of what he can do inside the ring. That's why Blood Red advanced to the next round. And his career. Letting he could run to hand his career. The German suplex on the third tag, the third tag for the second time. I feel pretty bad, don't do that. Don't do Oh shit he did! He do the monster from the turn tax! Seriously! So, are you enjoying your attack, honey? Well, I'm not going to punish you. I know you're not involved in any match tonight. This is why I came to talk to you. I'm impressed after what you did to Stone Cold E.T. and Toji Makahabe, and that's why I am going to give you a treat. And this is going to be against Daniel Wolf. If you beat him, I gave you ten thousand dollars. And seems like he, gentleman John Campbell, likes Mr. Podcast decision. He is going to compete against Daniel Wolf tonight. And ask for my dear tornado David Claudio for my authority. He is going to take on Mikey Choose because I know then he will beat him. Alright. Don't you tell me that you are in Shining Star. In Shining Star, do you have explication on what kind of happened last week at GCW with Connie? Why did you do that? I did what I had to do. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry, I really have to go. I'm sorry. And why did you in the story swing like that? 
why did he swing him like that? Three months of sin, three months of sin. He wanted to go after Shining Stone. After what Shining Stone did to him at GCW, the recording, he's just waiting for his Dragon life. Was dead. And we are back right here for one on one action and now making his way to the ring it's Mikey Swiss going to take on David Claudio as a replacement because Stone Cold Heat he was being brutally attacked by Gentleman John Campbell and Mr. Podcast put Gentleman John Campbell in the first match of tonight Jack Potter Vegas is going to be against Daniel Wolf right here right after this match and right after this high pay-per-view pre-show and Mikey Chus right now he is kicking Tornado David Claudio Don Tornado David Claudio think then he can beat Mikey Chus and what a beautiful catch will kick right here by Mikey Chus he missed it and big German suplex by T David Claudio who just Reverse the maneuver and pinfall time and now Mikey Choose kick out. Mikey Choose he's a 13 time heavyweight champion in the Empire right here. Who he doesn't have to forget his online wrestling federation world heavyweight championship victory. He's also one of the actual OWF World Tag Team Champion and he can overcome the odds and Retain his championship in OWF who returns January 1st, 2014 on the Empire Entertainment ne uh, Empire Online Network, that's right. And David Claudio, beautiful maneuver on Mikey Truth, double arm suplex. He's taking him back once again, David Claudio dominating Mikey Truth. Back where the drop now reversed into a beautiful leg breaker. These two men knows each other pretty well, pretty damn good right here. And Mikey Choose, he know David Claudio just like David Claudio know Mikey Choose. They have been in the same federation at the same time. The last title David Claudio's had was the OWF Hardcore Championship. And that title was being taken out and I want to serve Mr. Hypnosis or Mr. Herzinger, uh, Mr. Herzinger, that's right bringing back that title and see Tornado David Claudio win it again and he is going to punch Mikey Shoes with 
his hand like that boom and ladies and gentlemen just like i've been telling you don't miss online wrestling federation returning live january 1st OWF loaded returns by on the m o n empire online network and you can get more information about OWF on youtube.com that the mw network empire wrestling network OWF Lawyer that returns January 1st on this YouTube channel and make it choose their job from the third world painful time. One, two, no, on the one count. And make it choose continue to kick tornado David Claudia suplex. No David Claudia kick out. Double arm suplex by Mikey Choose. Mikey Choose in the ropes. Big splash. And another splash. And a leg job. No David Claudia missed it. And David Claudia is going to take on Mikey Choose. No, he tries to fight him back. Double arm suplex. By tornado David Claudia. Pin for the Mikey Choose one. And Mikey Choose kick out. This is why I told you that these two guys knows each other pretty well. Go to a big close line. From the third row by tornado David Claudia. Here we go for the pin for one, two. And Mikey Choose kick out. They were in MMW but together. Both together and David Claudia super kick Mikey Choose. They were both together in MMW for almost six years. David Claudio has the All Star Championship three times, four times, I'm sorry. And he beat Hypnosis one, he beat Mikey Choose twice to get that title. David Claudio, he have a great background. He is also a former SPW champion, SPW TV champion, SPW Pure champion. And he have a great run in SPW too, and have a great rivalry against Phantasm on SPW. And another beautiful cut wheel kick by Tornado David Claudio. And Hurricane Rana, Frankenstein by Mikey Trus and De David Claudio on a big neck breaker. The these two men knows how to fight. They have been trained together. They were training partners, training partners, and they also have some history together too. And Mikey Shrews project David Claudio in the ropes. The corner big coach will kick on David Claudio's face. Mikey Shrews been kicking David Claudio's face, and David Claudio try to get back on his feet, but he can't. Double arm suplex by Mikey Shrews while he. Beautiful double arm suplex. Mikey Trues took the victory to back up. Ush and next sweep. Mikey Trues is going for the cover. No. Beautiful suplex. Beautiful reverse suplex. Pinfall time one. And David Claudio kick out and Mikey Trus is going to project David Claudio in the ropes and flying head see so no David Claudio get back up he leave the maneuver at the good time at the good place David Claudio projecting Mikey Trus in the corner right here big punch big superman punch right there on Mikey Trus David Claudio brings back Mikey Trus in the middle of the ring I think it's going to be the time for his finish Sure, maneuver after smashing his head on the mat of the ring right here on the floor and no big reverse suplex once again rookie mistake by David Claudio taking his time too much pin for one two and three beautiful victory by the icon Mikey Trus Mikey Trus getting the shoulder up and getting the victory this was a huge match Right here for the icon Mike Choose 13 time heavyweight champion of the world. He's celebrating his victory right here with the fans right before to go. Toji Makahaba with the steel chair attacking Mikey Choose from behind. It's the second time this dude is attacking Mikey Choose. He attacks him at the last episode of GCW Collision in the finals of the jackpot at Vegas. King of Vegas tournament, it was a four way. He was mad after being get eliminated. Toji Makahabe want to make a point for himself like that right now. He want to make a point for himself. Deed Valley Driver. Deed Valley Driver right here. And he took Mikey Choose back up now. Not on the steel chair, Deed Valley Driver on the steel chair. 
And ladies and gentlemen, Teji Makarabe want to make a statement too by attacking one of the greatest Empire legends. Crucifix no but he's going to do it again. Crucifix power bomb on the steel chair right here. Oh god, I'm checked with what Toji Makarabe just did. But ladies and gentlemen, don't miss GCW Jackpot at Vegas coming up next. We are going to let you on this. Thanks for watching on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. We will be back for Jackpot at Vegas. And then he will kick out after what the Riffin is doing. I can't believe it. The Riffin will just give a spine buster to the Riffin Wii. Then he will full burst. Mr. Podcast on the third rope. He, he, he hit the elbow. He hit the elbow. He hit the elbow. And then he will Brings Mr. Podcast in the corner of the ring, making him hit the corner. Daniel Ruff, Mr. Podcast, get back up under his feet. Daniel Ruff, trying to talk podcast. Slam reversed. Mr. Podcast, project Ruff in the ropes, using the referee we has a human shield. Mr. Podcast, taunting the crowd. Daniel Ruff with another huge power slam. And Daniel Ruff is going to take Mr. Podcast for a headlock. The Wifi he's trying to tell him to not do it. The Wifi I think he's corrupted. Daniel Ruff make the pin for the Wifi he doesn't pin him. Daniel Ruff running in the ropes, close line, running close line. Chalk slam! Mr. Podcast doesn't show it coming, the chalk slam! Yes, Daniel Ruff can win! Daniel Ruff can win! And Daniel Ruff win the match! Daniel Ruff get the World Heavyweight Championship title shoot! His next opponent for the World Championship title and we know how badly Daniel Wolf won that title. He is at one step to accomplish his dream. And Daniel Wolf, I don't know, that's Assad. Assad is attacking Daniel Wolf. And Daniel Wolf, he is still on the wing and oh, that's Kenny Time. No, don't win like that. Don't win like that, Kenny. No, don't win like that oh and Kenny time just take the advantage and gets the victory this is bullshit <laughs>